Following the collapse of communism, many young Russians began to abuse alcohol and other drugs. Addiction destroys millions of families, leaving children with parents who are unable to raise them. State-run orphanages provide basic necessities to orphans, but the people who run the facilities play a large part in determining the quality of care. At orphanage number one in Samara, Tamara Turkina looks after 128 children, ages 7 to 18, many of whom were taken from their families because their parents struggle with addiction. A United Methodist, Tamara treats the orphanage as a community service and a ministry. I have always enjoyed working with difficult children. They are very loyal and they have an acute feeling of justice. I have learned not to focus only on academic results. The main thing is character. A child who is not very strong academically can show their character by helping out in other ways. Quite often we remember kids who have left not by their degrees or their marks in school, but by their contributions to life at the orphanage. And of course, I try to encourage good grades in school too. Samara Orphanage Number 1 far exceeds the minimum state expectations. In addition to nine years of compulsory schooling, children are encouraged to complete two more years to qualify them for study at a university. Inside the orphanage, students are taught cooking, painting, theater, art, and sewing, none of which are required by the government. Being employed by the orphanage is the best way to use my knowledge and expertise. Even when other people give up on a certain child because he is not able to learn or is not used to going to school for academic subjects, I know that I can sit him down and teach him a basic skill and he can produce some sort of work to be proud of. Teachers and classes are of such high quality that parents in the community send their children to school at the orphanage. Along with education, Tamara ensures the orphanage grounds receive maintenance and improvements. Medical needs and prescriptions are donated from the United States. Samara United Methodist Church where Tamara is a member, supports the orphanage as well by offering the children Bible study and times of worship. Each year for Christmas, the West Ohio Conference sends a volunteers and missions team to the orphanage. The team raises enough money for each of the 128 children to go shopping for a new sweater and a pair of shoes. They also make time to play games, throw snowballs, and eat together with the kids. While managing all these endeavors, Tamara also builds a relationship with the children and instills in them a sense of discipline and drive. Before I came to the orphanage, I missed a lot of school. I just didn't go to school. I don't know why. I got quite interested in education here at the orphanage. I have enjoyed piano lessons and singing. And I was so afraid of Tamara, I thought, well, I better go to school and study very well. Otherwise, I will be in trouble. Within Samara Orphanage Number 1, the stigma of being an orphan begins to dissipate. Lives are rebuilt from ruins. And people of every age learn what it means to be children of God.